What's up, everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Crafty and Crusade. And this is actually not le welcome back. This is actually just welcome because this is the first episode as I fail to generate chunks. And oh, 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 there is an evil entity deep within the catacombs. I need you to smite it. Yes. Oh, whoa. Quest accepted dungeon category. Oh, well, I just accepted a quest, but that is that is irrelevant or semi-irrelevant for the time being. But yes, guys, we are back here. We have Crafty and Crusade, the Minecraft factions PvP experience. And uh, honestly, I think we're trying to make it a little bit more than factions in the future, but I'm going to try and jump around here. I do have some money. I have diamonds also because this is all from the donator perk, uh, including my name. As you can see, it is a cool color. So uh, is my is my sound too loud? Let's let's play with that a little bit actually. So I'm gonna lower that to about six because it sounds loud to me. Oh no! Oh god! I almost just fell. Oh well, the end exits right there anyway. But yeah, so we do have this massive boat over here, and we do have the massive town right over here. So the catacomb. Oh, so the catacombs are down there. So we're gonna have to go over there. Oh yeah, I have this trail too. That's another donator perk. So. The perks of being a donator. But yes, nonetheless, as always, there's going to be an IP in the description if you guys want to come play on the server. It is completely uh, free. Again, it's a factions PvP server. Stuff like that. And um, yeah, so, uh, wow. Like, it, this happens every three hours, and it happens to be the three hours that I'm on. So, what I'm going to try and do here is um, I do have a lot of money, again, from the donator perk. I have 50 grand, so that's 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 a good amount of money. I mean, that is a lot of money on the server. So what I've got to do is find the market. I think what we're going to try and do is get some basic supplies. Obviously, we, do, we can build iron armor, iron tools, iron sword. We don't have any wood yet, so actually we can't make any iron swords, but we can make some iron armor. And then um, I think I want to do some questing before we get into actually starting a faction because i don't know just to mix it up obviously we got we got bones chasing mr crook what is that crook shanks right there so cat versus dog there you go and we have smiths and alchemy so i don't know do these guys sell stuff oh yeah right here so a cauldron a brewing stand and a glass bottle where's the smith though is he um or is this just the store name smiths and alchemy or is it on the second floor i i get the i get the feeling that's not the case um no, this is just his house, so let's not try and rob him. That is not, what's, that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, we, why is that open? This probably should be closed. Uh, well, we could buy a cauldron if we wanted to, but I'm not really that into that. This server is also a 1.7.10. I should probably mention that before. And, um, yeah, so, oh, oh, her, her, oh, so we could buy seeds from him. Hmm, that's interesting, because I'm definitely going to want to start a farm. So, uh, I don't have anything to sell, but should I go for... Bone meal, sugar cane. I think I'm going to buy a bunch of melon seeds because we just do have tons of money. So we can just click this really quickly. And uh, I think I'm going to buy a stack of melon seeds. And you know what we could do is start a melon farm and have infinite amounts of food and try and sell it. We could get a shop and sell it all. Um, because since we have so much money, we could uh, just buy a ton of bone meal too. And uh, with the bone meal, we can make uh, tons of food. So that'll be awesome. And I think I may actually do this, and we could try and make uh, raise our capital that way, because obviously we want to be the richest man in the server. The restart is in one minute, so I'm going to buy two stacks of this. And I, I, some of you guys may be like, "Hey, I can't do this when I start on the server." But I mean, do you really want to see me grind for money for that long? How much money did we spend? Yes, <laughs> we we still have tons of money, so not too worried about that. And hi, I I'm NPC, so that's not changed. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, all around, Surfer has been going pretty decently on the first couple of things. I was waiting for uh, us to iron out a lot of the bugs and all that on the back end and uh, before I started filming my series on it. And where is, like, a regular shop? I don't actually know. So, let's go try and find one of those. Uh, the server's going to restart in a second. So, oh, the blacksmith this is what I was looking for to buy some more weapons. So, hello, sir. Oh, you only sell iron and such. Hmm. 25 bucks a piece, though. That is uh, actually pretty expensive. So... Yeah, let's let's just buy like a half stack of that and let's not buy any more. Maybe some coal too will actually be useful. So we could buy like that. Oh, the server closed, so I will come right back when it's back. So I do return as uh, <laughs> the uh, the wonderful things sparkle down on my head and um yeah, all that iron or all the coal we bought got a little a little not not excommunicated. It, it was just it was shoved off to the side. That's that's what happened. So we're going to eat some of these cookies right here, and uh, we're going to go travel out right here. Ghost forced invisible. All ghosts were forced visible. Oh, that's something. Yeah. Shh. 
Okay, so let's travel down this way, and uh, we will try and find something. I think what I'm going to do, though, oh god, I think I'm going to start the series on the donor world, just because it'll be a lot easier that way, if you build up the infrastructure, and kind of build a house and stuff. So let's do that warp donor, I think that's the warp, right? Yeah, so this is the donor world. This is obviously, as the name suggests, it's only for donators, and there's no factions battling here or anything like that. But um, the reason I kind of want to do this over just start in the other world is primarily because it may be viewed as kind of cheap. I guess it is. It is kind of cheap to an extent. But um, the reason I kind of want to really do this is that I don't want to just get curb stomped by everyone else in the other world because they all have been playing for a while and they all have really good armor. Granted, I have diamonds. What? Where did my diamonds go? Where did my iron go to? <gasps> did I accidentally sell it? What happened there? I don't know. Well, we could we could just spawn it back in. I diamond, and uh, we had two stack. Well, we have a half stack of iron slash I iron ingots, third of two. So we could do that and go back to workbench. I don't know. That's weird. I don't. It must have been something weird with the reset right there. I don't know. Well, no one else was complaining about losing stuff, so we can't be that bad. And no, I'm not just randomly spawning this stuff in. I'm only spawning this in because we had it. Actually, did we have more iron? I don't know. But, um, yeah, so getting a nice little kickstart with diamonds is going to be nice. But the only thing that's going to be unfortunate is we are going to run out. We're going to run out sooner than we'd like to. So, uh, I, that's that's something that I kind of want to... I don't... I don't want to fret too hard, but it's something I do have to f fret in a little bit. So I want to be careful not to destroy this uh, whole donor world spawn thing too much. Uh, we do have 10 homes, so that would be useful. I don't think that... Do I have any homes carried over? Home builds. Um, can I just, like, delete? Oh. Slash delete home home. And slash delete home new. Slash delete home build. And there you go. So we could delete all those because I'm not going to really be using them. And, oh, what is the plugin for personal time? Is it, oh, is it personal time? Oh, uh, personal PL, oh, that's plugins. Well, it's going to be in here somewhere. Lamp control, server icons, personal climate, slash PC, day, slash PC, help. Uh, wow, look at this, look at the professionality in this. So, oh, slash AP set Tom day. No, it's, it's, it's PC. Why does it say AP? Okay, there you go. So essentially what that does is it's another little donor plugin and it'll just, it'll appear day. It is actually nighttime. Oh god, I didn't make myself a sword. Oh no. All right, so we're going to go try and find a nice little opened area for um, for base building. And or not even base building. Here I just want to build like a nice little village. Kind of lax, you know, nothing too crazy. Let's actually go grab some of these. So uh, yeah, again, this is the donor world. So it is only PvE, as in player versus entity. So we fight against the mobs together forever. So I'm going to go travel this way. And we'll see if we could find any snaz of things. Well, burn, you beat my time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, someone, someone uh, is in first. That's what it was. So, essentially, it's one we have, a like, a time counter to see who uh, plays the most, who's the biggest nerd, essentially. And um, it appears that someone did take first place from someone else. So, that is both good and bad, depending on which side you are on of that. So, we could go travel this way. We do have quite a bit of wood now. And we could try and build a little home. What I want to do, though, is start this melon farm. I'm just going to start one above ground because I just ran out of food. So we're going to be needing some of that very, very shortly. I actually just came to the realization that I don't have any... Um, I don't have any buckets water so let's go travel there i see some water over there and this is the this is me not the server i don't know why i'm lagging so hardcore kind of bizarre actually because i oh 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 uh, i <laughs> i avoided it and then i fell in anyway but yeah so actually before this whole little recording session was going on i i was getting some lag my of my own for some obscure reason so there are tons of mobs this is actually not good because i don't have any uh I don't have any like anything. I, I don't I don't have any food. So if I when I start getting killed, I'm in actually kind of deep doo doo. So that's not good. Um but that's okay because we could do is swim over to here. We're gonna go try and travel over there. I think that looks like a pretty decent place to start a home. We could uh, raise some kids, we could uh, grow a little family, and I think I'm just going to make some armor straight away. I mean, we have tons of diamonds, we have tons of money, so that's not going to be a, a huge issue for us starting out. What it's going to become an issue is later on in the series, I am kind of worried about what happens then. So, oh god, this creeper is going to be a problem, isn't it? So is the spider. 
because these guys are just going to kill us uh, unless we do something about it. So we could let the creeper blow up over there. So, oh yeah, just show the, the mob health. So that's pretty useful. Oh my god! No! Get back! Back, cruel fiends! Luckily, the axe is actually a pretty viable weapon, believe it or not. So we can use that to our advantage. And there you go. Killing down that creeper. There is another spider, though. Yeah, these guys are just going to keep coming until uh, it's daytime. Because, er, it is technically nighttime. Um, oh, I left that crafting table back there, didn't I? So let's do this really quickly. Uh, we'll place that down. Um, we'll make some armor. So let's get a chest plate first. Click that. Get this second. And click that. Put that there. We can put these on so we don't die instantly. And we can make a sword as well. We're already burning through a lot of these diamonds. So as you can see, it's not going to be as useful as we thought. We're actually only down to 35 diamonds left. So, uh, yeah, that's that's actually not that great. <laughs> um, all right, so let's clear all this. Do melons actually need water? I don't I don't actually know that answer. So I, I want to say yes, but again, I, I, I really don't have any idea. So what we will do until we do know the answer is we can just kind of start our little we can start a miniature melon farm. We're going to need a hoe. Um, hoe, how you uh, I try to make a joke but it didn't work. So I'm just going to stop talking about that <laughs> and uh, we'll make some iron uh, iron hoe right there. And I don't know if they need water, but we're going to assume they do and we're going to we're going to hoe accordingly. So let's grab our melon seeds. Oh, we already had them. So let's plant all these boop 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 boop. And yeah, so they the real thing is they take a really long time to grow. But um, as long as they're growing, I don't see too many issues here. Oh, Wait, those are regular seeds. No, we don't want those. So let's grab let's grab the melon seed instead and place them there. I'm gonna have to replace that that one block over there because it is no oh, god that scared me. Luckily they don't do much damage now because I am in decked out my diamond armor. So let's see, we'll place some melon seeds. Did I get everything? I did. So we're just gonna have to replace this block and. I have a gift. Uh, no, thank you. I'm pretty rich as it is. I am actually the richest person on the server because no one has donated the biggest one. Um, not thank you. Okay, close enough. So we'll place that down. And now we go ham with this stuff. Boom, 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 boom. And yeah, so now we, we begin our melon empire. And I think that's going to be my goal for taking over the server, essentially, is to just try and sell as many melons and all that stuff as possible. I know in the future, we are going to work on getting like a whole shop, a, a, an area just designated designated to creating shops. And I think if we just have a melon empire, like an auto auto harvesting melon empire we will be in pretty good shape the only problem is i just ran out of food so uh, this could prove to be a slight issue in the future i'm actually gonna make a diamond pickaxe because frankly i'm gonna have to make one of these at some point or another anyway and uh, so why not now only thing is i am out of food and oh god here we go spider you want a mess boy you want a mess that's what happens you want a mess too pig sorry he didn't actually want to mess but he got the uh one dollars received from thank you uh thank you i guess so what we can do though is mine some of this stuff hopefully we don't fall in the lava uh that would be really embarrassing and pretty bad so we need three more of these and we can make a furnace and then we can smelt some of this food which will temporarily hold us over until our melon farm begins to grow and our baby steps to taking the server over as i did just say shout continue and let's place this down boop and hmm. so let's throw that in there uh we need more so we're gonna go we're gonna go over this way and oh yeah all right, ready? Ready for this? Uh, slash my pet. So this is this is completely spawned in, and this is not technically legal. But we have this plugin called My Pet that we added. It's gonna be a donator plugin, and essentially what this guy will do is help me fight off mobs. And how awesome is that? So I haven't. I obviously when I was playing around with it, I chose the biggest mob. I, this is not actually gonna count. Uh, he doesn't attack players. That was a setting, but I think I dis. I, no, I know I disabled it. I think I'm gonna leave it disabled because it seemed kind of overpowered. Did they just kill him? Oh shh. <laughs> they just killed him okay so joey that was his that's his name he was at low hp it appears and uh, they just, just managed to kill him so we're in uh we're gonna have to try and work our way around by avoiding these skeletons i'm not too scared of spiders because i could as you could just saw we could pretty much take care of them relatively easily sorry pig but you are going to die today and um raw beef uh well we actually have a lot of raw beef so maybe i'll cook that too and uh yeah this is a how long is day jesus all right so 
Oh, God. Uh, well, we can take care of this spider. I'm not too worried about you. There's another spider coming that way. And let's see. He got... Oh, no. There's there's some more spiders. Oh, God. Someone's shooting me. Someone's shooting me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't hit me in the lava. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Let's... We'll have none of that. We will have none of that whatsoever. We're going to throw that in there. We're going to throw that in there so we can get some food. And we're going to hide behind this thing. Oh, crap. He just tried and dropped an iron ingot, though. That's pretty good. Oh, my God. Oh, this is, this is the reality of my situation right now. Joey, <laughs> Joey, man. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, at least we could do this in case. Oh, crap. Joey, Joey slash pet call. Oh, my God. 288 seconds. Is it becoming daytime? I don't know. I have some other food. Oh, we can do the rock pork chops. All right. Um, what are we doing here? Like, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to get full health so we could he heal some hearts. And, uh, oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is bad. All right, so he, he got, he got distracted. He's going that way now. We could go this way. That was a close call. That was, that was, <laughs> that was a very close call. So what is it? Slash PC reset. Uh, reset time. Okay, so it is actually daytime now. So, uh, this guy, he can't really mess or he'll burn to death. And the creepers, though, are still a problem. But luckily, we are regaining some health and we do have full hunger. I can't believe that guy dropped an iron ingot. That's actually pretty rare, isn't it? Oh, look, so we got our first melon and our melon empire does begin so wonderfully. We grab that and uh, there you go. So we could go wreak our benefits of uh, all those things. And you know what, creeper? Sorry. Later, boy. Oh. Well, that did not go as I thought. Oh, yeah, we have a blood mod, too. That's just... Everyone has that, though. Pretty fun mod. And, uh, yeah. So, for the time being, we do have that. And I think that went pretty well. I mean, it couldn't have... Oh. World guard. Oh, is this a world guard? I, I don't... I, <laughs> I didn't know that was a world guard thing. So, we're going to grab all our coal out of there. Obviously, we just paid for this all out of our, our daddy's pocket. Because our daddy paid for this all, babe. All right. So, we're going to make a little oak wood house, I think. I think that is the next logical step. As we grow our melon nation... Um, I think that's really, yeah, right? Because we just, melon juice, juice farms. We're going to have to, we're going to, I think for the time being, what we should do is just try and get a base model going down. And then in the future, we could kind of get a better system for planning this out. But for the time being, I think uh, just having manually, manually doing this and just trying to build a supply of melons may honestly be the best bet. So when does this work? Do I go like that now? Boop, boop, boop. Uh... No. Then I go there. Yeah, so this is this is wrong. There you go. Um boop boop boop. No, oh no, oh no. That's that's wrong. Let's destroy that. <laughs> I'm trying to be all like make it look all nice and it's only kind of working, so yeah, that's a thing. So we'll put all this down there. And that's actually a lot. We we may use all of these. Well, oh, we have two stacks of melon seeds. So actually no, we didn't even come close to using them all. So that's okay. And uh the only concern is if these melons grow on that side, we have a problem because depending on they, they may claim that spot and then the melons on the other side won't actually be able to grow. So we just got to make sure these guys grow on the right side and I'm kind of worried they're not going to. So wow, this stuff is expensive. Oh, see like that. That's a problem. Oh, instant instantaneous flaw in the design right there guys oh no well i mean it does make the I mean it'll grow like hyper fast right oh i missed a spot so this means all of our melons will be growing really really fast because there'll be twice as many opportunities for them to grow i think does that make sense it should make sense we just got to make sure we keep up with the harvest here and I'm not sure how we're going to do that i mean I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out, though. I'm going to look up some guides and um, all that. So, yes, as you can see, our melon farms have begun. And I think it's going to go super duper well for us in the future. Because of these melon farms, we will slowly begin to raise capital and take over the server. So, that'll be fun. And, uh, yeah. So, as always, I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all next time. Later.